Okay, we are here at Arrow 2015. I'm Dan Johnson, and I'm speaking with Alberto Porto today. Did I say that about correct? Yeah. Alberto Porto, okay. And you are the man behind this. Um, the Sea Avio is the name of your company, and the airplane is the Risen. Yeah. Totally. Tell me a little bit more about it, Alberto. Yeah, this is a very, very new airplane, and as you would see, it's very different from what we've seen up to now. Uh, it is uh, the top of the category. It is uh, extremely performance. Uh, all the luxury is included, and uh, you have the, the best avionic you can find it. It's uh, full composite, it's uh, retractable gears, the slat flaps, uh, it is very, very efficient flaps. Uh, you have ballistic parachute, you have automatic pilot, you have whatever you can dream in, in the airplane. Two, two tanks, and explosive tanks. Uh, let a head inside and we offer a different uh, interiors design. It's made by Italian uh, style design, you know, it's very artisanal uh, uh, style. And uh, this is, let's say, the most expensive one, I, I guess, in the market. Well, let's, uh, let's put some numbers to that. First of all, yes, we do see that it's a retractable gear airplane. Now, for our American viewers, this would not qualify as a light sport aircraft. We'll come back to that. But in the European community, you can have retractable gear in the ultralight class. So, and I understand that you are using the Rotax engine. So tell me a little bit about how it fits in the European uh, licensing or certification scheme and how that part works, Alberto. Yeah, um, to be honest, uh, we flew the, for three years the prototype, okay, and more than 300 hours on the prototype. This is not the prototype, this is the first production airplane, okay? And uh, we start in the process for certification. This is qualified in Europe as a ULM, okay? okay. Uh, we, there are only two requirements for, the, for this kind of, uh, of certification. One is to be under 472.5 kilos of maximum takeoff weight, and the other one is an stall speed of 65 kilometers per hour. Okay, so this airplane complains with both things. Uh, it's a very low stall speed, okay, we are under 65. And uh, whatever you can do under those two simple things, it is, it is up to you. So we have variable pitch propeller, retractable gears, we have everything we needed to perform fast, you know, and still comply with that rule. Well, let's come back to the speeds. I want you to do some more numbers for me, and I'll do a little translation of kilometers because we Americans are stuck with our miles per hour or not. So 65 kilometers is about about 40 miles, less than 40 miles per hour, or about 35 knots. So that's quite a slow stall speed. We'll look at the flaps in a moment because yesterday I came by and looked at the airplane and you didn't have enough electrical power. Today you solved that problem. So we'll look at how the flaps work because I hardly saw any flaps. So we'll look at that later. But the aircraft appears to have a very wide cockpit. Uh, you can tell me in a moment what the width of the cockpit is and then tell me some performance numbers, uh, maximum speed and things like this. So first of all, let's go in the cockpit and see how wide it is. Yeah, it's uh, uh, again, we are trying to offer in the maximum comfort, visibility and luxury in size. So this is a very wide cockpit. It's 123 centimeters, sorry for the, the American, sorry, not the American dimensions, but uh, it's, a, it's the largest uh, cockpit in the category. That would be, uh, I think, around 45 inches for American consumption, uh, close to that number. So that's quite wide. And tell me a little bit about its uh, maximum speed now. You said adjustable, in-flight adjustable prop and retractable gear, so I'm guessing you're going to give me a big number. Yeah, it is, the uh, airplane is really, really clean, so when you, let's say, uh, the, the, maximum, uh, the maximum speed, continuous speed in horizontal flight that you can keep forever, okay, uh, for the prototype, we haven't tested yet this one that we expect in better performance, but that's a prototype, is 312 uh, uh, kilometers per hour. Okay, and 312 kilometers, if I can do the math in my head, uh, that's about 180 miles an hour, I think, or 150 knots or something, so that's really quite fast. And you're using which engine in this to achieve that? Uh, we offer this in, uh, with a Rotax 912 ULS 
only 100 horsepower, let's say, at takeoff, but normally at uh, maximum uh, continuous speed is, is 90 horsepower, so or slightly less than 90 horsepower. So think about that just for a moment. As much as 150 knots of speed, that's really quite fast for any airplane, but on a continuous power of 90 horsepower, that's quite amazing. And what kind of fuel usage do you use? We use normal fuel, you know, green fuel for normal cars uh, fuel. That's, that's it. We don't have avio or nothing. This is normal fuel, green. And uh, typically in gallons per hour, that will be about four to five gallons per hour, or about 16 or 18 liters per hour, I assume, something like this? Yeah, it is uh, at maximum power, we have 18, 19 liters per hour, okay? Uh, but you, you have something incredible. This one is like a glider. It's nine meters of span, okay? So you have all those performance without sacrificing short uh, landing and short takeoff. Uh, very gliding uh, performance. The, we have a lift to drag ratio of 123, okay, that you can measure in flight. So just put your propeller with all the pitch open and you gliding at 123. And uh, if you are, uh, the, the gliding ratio, the best gliding ratio is 160 kilometers per hour, okay, so it's very high gliding ratio and speed. And uh, if you would like to be really, really e e economy in cruise, you can go uh, 200 kilometers per hour with very, very little map of pressure of, uh, of, of, uh, of gas and consume six liters, six liters an hour only at 200 kilometers per hour. Okay, let me do a little bit of translation of some of that. You said nine meters of span. Uh, in my head, I'll come up with about 28 feet or so. In other words, it's quite a short span of wing, but it's very, very clean, you can see. The, the span is, okay. Okay, and... and the other, if you compare the other ones, the other airplanes, you know, it has at least one, one and a half meter less than us. Uh, yes, okay, so uh, compared to some other aircraft that we'll see here at the show, you're saying. And uh, 23 to 1 glide ratio, is a, that's, that's a, you're talking a sailplane, a, a, a low performance sailplane, but still, that's a very long glide ratio. And then you said at 200 kilometers per hour, again, I'll do that at about 110, 115 miles per hour, uh, 105 knots or some number like that, I think. And only 6 liters per hour, that's a gallon and a half per hour, just to put this in numbers that Americans easily uh, can swallow. Those are some very amazing numbers. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, what the price costs? And, and folks, we know these videos last a long time, so you'll need to check with the company. I'll ask you for your web address when we're done. But tell me approximately what the price would be today and in euros. Yeah, we offer in uh, no optionals, okay, because we give you the top of the things. Uh, this included also the, the Bose, uh, you know, A20s uh, headphones uh, and the price. And we are talking about a price list of 240,000 uh, euros, okay, and uh, for the fare, okay, and for the for the next two orders, we will give you for 195,000 uh, euros, all this included, and a special service that the, the company will guarantee, so we'll, we'll follow in up for free during two years, all the maintenance and support, okay, free of charge. Continuing our look here at the C Avio Risen. Uh, this has an automatic canopy, Alberto says. So he's got a little clicker in his hand. Now hold this up so we can see it. So a little tiny device here he's got in his hand, and he's now going to open the canopy for me. Go ahead and do that. <laughs> yeah, the, it's now with a, an external battery that is, you know, on all the power pool that it should be. But, uh, and you're going to put the flaps down for me now? Yeah. Okay, so we see here down in the bottom, uh, there's, there's not much showing here. This is only about two inches of flap showing now, but you can see from the brackets here, this is going to be a Fowler flap extension system. And down they come. Okay, first position here. Okay, that's the takeoff position now. Okay, you can see that's uh, now more than a foot of extension. And continue on. Okay, and now we're into the landing position. You can see that would allow for a lot of airflow here coming over the top. This is the Fowler style of flap, of course. And this one is very short landing position and it's creating drag. You know, when you are descending very rapidly, you know, 
This is for a rapid descent, and uh, now you're at full extension. How far are these extended now, Alberto? 37 degrees, and you can see now a tremendous amount. I can reach my whole, probably my whole arm through there. So what looked like no flaps at all is actually a lot of flap on this airplane. And you can also see now inside the cockpit. We'll uh, move the camera and go have a look for you. Coming in now, we can have a look right inside the cockpit of this airplane. And uh, you can see that it is indeed very luxurious. And one of the things that I think we forgot to mention earlier is that this aircraft is completely carbon fiber, nose to tail. Is that correct? Yeah, even the, the landing gear's legs are in carbon fiber. Everything, even the landing gear legs. We'll come down there and give you a sight underneath the airplane as well so you can see the landing gear. Of course, it's retractable, as we said, but the entire aircraft, including the landing gear legs, is made out of carbon fiber. Okay, so speaking today with Alberto Porto of uh, Ciavio, and uh, I see your web address behind you there. It probably shows in the camera. Thank you, Dan. It's a pleasure to talk with you. I uh, hope that we will have uh, all the success. Thank you very much. Very good. Talking to you today from Aero 2015, where we're looking at the Ciavio Risen.